Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this tutorial on Adobe After Effects. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the basic features of Adobe After Effects, such as creating new shapes, layers, manipulating them, scale them, rotate them, move them, and change the anchor points, and so on. We'll also look at a few different tools used in Adobe After Effects on day-to-day -day projects. Let's get started. When we open Adobe After Effects, this is how it looks like. This is Adobe After Effects 2019. So I'm getting a screen something like this. If you have an earlier version of Adobe After Effects, you might get a different screen. But whatever we do in this tutorial, you should be able to do it in an earlier version of Adobe After Effects as well. So let's create a new composition. Composition is the entity in which we create objects, we include video footages, edit them, add effects, and make the final composition and render them. So the first step is to create a new composition. I can click here and create a new composition, or I can go here to the composition menu and click on new composition. Let's give a composition name. For the preset, we can select HDTV 1080 2997. This is the common format used across many video delivery platforms. And for the pixel aspect ratio, we will select the square pixels. That's the default, so we will leave it there. We will leave the frame rate and other settings as is. So the important thing to change is the duration. So let's set the duration to five minutes. Five minutes, zero, zero seconds. So here we can select a background color. We can select a dark red and hit OK. So we get our composition window. So this is the composition window. This is where we place our footage, our shapes, and also we manipulate them to create our final video. So in this composition window, we can see there are several settings. So this is the zoom percentage. So we can set it to whichever zoom percentage we want. So we can leave it at 25 now. This is the time preview. So when we hit play button, so the composition plays, we can see the time that advances and the time slider moves. We can stop here. We can change the time either with this time slider or we can type in a value here. Let's go back to the first frame. So this is the resolution. So here it says quarter resolution. So we can have full resolution to get the full details in our composition. Usually default would do. So this is just for the preview. The final render will have a different resolution altogether. So we can leave it at auto here. We can have multiple views. But for this tutorial, let's have the default one view selected. Now let's go to this toolbar and explore what is there. So this is the selection tool. So when we create shapes or add footage or images or effects, we can use this selection tool to select the particular layer and we can manipulate them later. So that's the selection tool. This is the pan tool. The shortcut is H or we can even use space bar. We can hold on the space bar and move like this. This is the zoom tool. Click, we'll zoom in. Hold down Alt button while clicking, we'll zoom out. Let's jump to this tool. This is the rectangle tool. The shortcut is Q. Click the rectangle tool and draw a nice rectangle like this. So if we see a rectangle is created with this fill color, and this stroke pattern. We can change the fill color like this and also the stroke color like this. We can change the stroke width by selecting this. This is 21 pixels wide stroke and to change the stroke type you can hold down the alt key and click here this is the gradient pattern for the stroke. 
radial pattern this is no stroke and we are back to the same stroke that we selected before alt button for the fill as well so this is the gradient fill the radial fill this is no fill and this is a solid fill okay this is how we create rectangles let me delete this rectangle so for deleting this i should select the shape layer created here and then delete it so before we delete it we'll look at this section this shape layer is created when we created this rectangle and it has the properties for this shape layer that we can manipulate we can change the blend modes and we can even use this to transform to move to scale to rotate and change the opacity or the transparency level of this particular shape let's select this and delete it say if i want to draw a square i can hold down this rectangle tool but i don't see a square tool here so i should still select the rectangle tool hold on the shift key while i create a rectangle so it creates a square let's delete this one as well and move on to the ellipse tool so it creates a basic oval shape as you might have guessed select the ellipse tool hold down shift and create the ellipse so it brings up a circle like this now if i select this shape layer and create multiple shapes it gets nested within the same shape layer maybe this is what we wanted to do in some cases maybe to group things group shapes together but it is always a good practice to create different layers to create different layers you first create a shape click somewhere here so that the layer gets deselected and create the next shape so that we have separate layers so we have seen how to rotate this shape you can use the rotation values here to change the angle of rotation or we can select the rotation tool with shortcut w and click and drag any one of these points okay one thing we have noticed is this particular shape rotates around this point this is the anchor point it's a small circle with some lines but actually i want to rotate this ellipse around its center so to move this anchor point what i will need to do is i have to select this pan behind tool y is the shortcut and i can move the anchor point to somewhere here but still it's not the exact center so what i need to do i need to hold down the control key while i move so that it snaps to the center so now if i select the rotate tool and rotate it rotates around the center so the anchor point value coordinates gets changed here and if i change the value for rotation it rotates around this particular anchor point or visually this is the anchor point okay let's delete these shapes and let's look at this pen tool so a pen tool is used to create path based shapes we can either click and make some shapes or we can click and drag to create curved shapes like so you can use the selection tool to move the shapes and the rotation tool to rotate them okay let's delete this shape layer let's look at text so after selecting the text tool here in the toolbar we can click anywhere here to type some text so when i select the text tool the text settings show up here i can select the font i can select text color i can select the stroke color so there are various settings here 
to play around and one thing should be noted here is we can use this align to align the text in this composition so we can use the left align we can use the right align align at top align at bottom or if we want to align at center so this is align at center in the horizontal way and this is for aligning in the vertical way so now it is at the exact center of this composition if we want to reduce the transparency of this text we can reduce the opacity so these are some basic things we can do with adobe after effects in the next lesson we will see how to animate things using keyframes bye for now